Uh, so, quick look to see what we've actually got. We are uh, dreaming in theory. Uh, we say 5A. Oh, we've got to update the description, but I can probably do that. Oh, okay. That's all right. I mean, I don't know whether that means whether that's available now or not. No, it's fine. <laughs> With my like really high tech uh, video editing um, cover plate. <laughs> <laughs> oh, super pro. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> it's <like> Amazing. <laughs> That's the best thing. I need to do that again. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> Such a lunatic. It's Star Wars night. <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm delighted. Uh, we have one person watching us doing this, by the of things that That's... until YouTube catches up, only one person has commented. So, uh, mentalist, congratulations! Welcome to us being goofballs. That's all we need. Yeah, that's that's, that's the one. We're slightly early, aren't we? We are. The first time in history uh, of mankind, we are early. Still waiting for the uh, still waiting for the ink to dry on this guy. Um, it looks a little bit wet. But uh, oh, there we go. We have table ready with us as well. By looks things. Brilliant, uh, Michael. I hope you're doing well. Awesome. I'm uh, getting fired up on. Um, Make the most of it. Uh, these are uh, English strawberries. They're going to uh, be uh, an exinct, exinct, exinct. No, what, what's extinct. Right? Extinct. I can't even say it. So much zinc in them. <laughs> You'll have to appreciate Matt. He's uh, apparently infected by the T virus um, and has oh, lost the ability to speak mate, properly. I'm so bored with lockdown. I know it's essential and I know it's the right thing to do, but oh, it's getting to me. You know, I, I was talking to I was talking to uh, my girlfriend about this, and I don't really have too much of an issue with it. Um, yeah. I'm actually um, relatively chill. Uh, I miss going to the gym. I really miss going to the gym. I can feel myself. Well, I mean, that's, getting, yeah, that's you. Yeah, getting older and fatter every day, and no matter what I do, no, this is like complete. Um, it's utterly within my gift to control what goes into my mouth, but somehow, some way. During lockdown, I wish people had stopped baking cakes and making scones because uh, they are. God, they are the worst, aren't they? They yeah. are the worst yeah. people. It's like, oh, look at my freshly baked bread. It's like, oh, I'm trying to give up carbs just for a week. <laughs> Please Amazing. stop making. Oh, okay, I'll have one slice. Half, half a loaf left later. Oh, no, 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 no. Are you um? Are you not able to like go out into the garden? Use like the um the kettlebell and stuff though. Yeah, are I do some not... kettlebells out in the garden, but I kind of. So that's fine. Um, I, I, I need to um, annoy me. I need to go down to the tip and clear. I need to clear my garage out in order to um, get my. I've got like a spin bike out there, but it's uh, basically got swamped with a load of rubbish, and we haven't been able right. to get down to like the recycling centre. So, um, uh, so they even open happens. right now? I'm guessing not. No, they're not. So yeah, we're. Yeah. Um, so that's a bit of a problem. I probably should go out my bike, but I went to. Um, Went to the stables um, this morning with Andrea, and uh, like the amount of people out on the on the road on bikes, great, you have an exercise. Why are you down country lanes? Like literally the worst road to cycle on, especially if you're not particularly used to cycling on your bike and you're weaving all over the place, and you've got like three, five, five or six year old kids in tow with you. It's um, I don't know. It's like a duckling procession. Anyway, um, so we've got one query in the chat. Um, looks like someone's asking to have a closer look at the gym unit, if we can manage that. Oh, okay, so uh, the, uh, the the paintery artist in me says, oh, it's only the first ink wash, of course. I haven't gone through and refined it yet, but uh, yeah, no, he's uh, just, just sort of basic, um, same as I did with the zombies, just contrast paints, and what I'm going to go in and is probably just like increase the saturation on the red bits. Um, anyway, we can get a bit closer to the camera, maybe? Right. Um, we're using your tremendous skill... Uh, what we have he looks awesome yeah he's, he's he's getting there i want to make sure the um uh the skin is quite white because in all of the reference mm. art that i've seen he's very um uh mm -hmm. very white so uh and that gives a nice contrast with the red so i'll probably pick a few of the veins out and everything lovely yeah well gruesome is the actual words i'm looking yeah, for yeah it's great yeah. I've, I've got birkin ready to rock and roll for when we get onto him okay it's encouraging yeah i, I kind of just did him in the wrong order i guess uh well there's no real massive wrong order is there it's just not gonna get done yeah exactly right what um what's the order of the day do we want to dive in or uh, are we gonna wait we're still because... we're still a touch early okay. uh, for everybody um 
if any of our um, if any of our lovely uh, watchers who we currently have uh, could jump into the Facebook group or the Kickstarter comments chat and tell them we're going live early. In fact, I could probably just do this now, couldn't I? Uh, oh, I'm finishing in the um, straw. I was telling you, so we've had a massive panic of um, English strawberries, and uh, they were basically going slightly off, like they kind of caught a little bit of mould on on the odd one. So. I basically got an entire punnet and liquidised them in my Nutri bullet. Right, and I think it's mould and all. Yeah, it's the it's the first fruit that I've had for a few days, so this is probably um, uh, giving me the jitters. Up. Yeah, I like the fact that some of it's got little blue fairy bits in it as well, but you know we won't talk about that. Nah, it's fine. Once you blitz it in the Nutri bullet, I mean it liquidises everything. Just lob them in. Right, delicious. I really enjoyed that. That was good. Good. Oh. Well, that's so, a quick, quick bit of dry brushing while we're waiting then. Yeah, I'll have a quick look at the um, at the chats, see if we've got anything fun, fun coming up. Uh, lots of people are playing the Resident Evil 3 uh, video game, the remake, which is cool. Right. Uh, speaking of which, just in case we have anybody here who's not aware of this, we currently have the Resident Evil 3 board game uh, on Kickstarter right now. Uh, which we have a link for in the description for this uh, for the description of this video or this live stream, I should say. Yeah. Um, so please do go check that out. Uh, we have now blitzed through and unlocked every single stretch goal uh, that we have. Uh, well, hmm. we have every single stretch goal we have for the main game. Uh, we've completed the game effectively, which is excellent. So loads and loads of free stuff in there, uh, which is really really cool. Uh, we will have some more stretch goals appearing. So we're going to do a last forty-eight hour speed run, uh, blasting through. Uh, that's going to pretty much start on Monday, I suspect, if it starts for eight hours, because the mm -hmm. things are ends up next week. Um, but yeah, it's been it's awesome. Uh, it's basically one massive party in the comments. Uh, everyone's been just hanging out and having a really great time. I got. Um, I mean, we had a feeling that that we were going to blitz through pretty much everything, didn't we? It's, um, well, it's to be yeah, fair, Resi Two is a slightly smaller game, isn't it? Yeah, it's a slightly smaller game, which is which meant that we had a little bit more of a reduced pool. Uh, for what we could actually draw from. But at the same time, um, one thing we focused on a lot this time, we listened to a lot to backers. Um, we, yeah, we, we spoke to a lot of people in the aftermath of the Resident Evil 2 campaign. And one of the big bits of feedback we got was, you know, having loads of extra zombies is great, but it's not a terribly exciting stretch goal. We're not a massive fan of like loads of extra sculpts. We just basically want more game modes, more characters, more like new enemies. Right. So instead, we really focus down on the uh, on that for this. So our stretch goals this time around have been all killer, no filler. Like we've literally just had, um, you know, character, you know, boss, uh, sort of new game modes or new game functions built in there, like new enemies. We've literally just blasted through, and um, and even obviously we've now added in uh, game trays, um, which has been insanely popular with everybody. Um, and you actually might not have seen this, Matt. We had know. over. I have seen it. Oh, you have? Um, yeah, yeah. I, I, I was the one who had a chat with uh, Rich and, and and lent my support to us uh, going oh, down okay, this fair enough. I, I wondered. So, yeah, it's um, we've actually had like a mock-up through from those guys and everything. It looks amazing. Yes. So, really, really impressed. Um, and uh, I think everybody in the everyone in the comments has really, really enjoyed that, so that's cool. Good. Yeah, and no, I think it... Um, so, interestingly, from, um, from a manufacturing point of view, uh, it doesn't actually add anything to the unit price, but what it does do is it creates a much, much better uh, user experience, um, mm. and and so it's it felt like an absolute no-brainer when uh, when Rich kind of gave me a buzz and sort of said, "Hey, what do you think on this?" And I'm like, "Yep, sold. I'm in." Yeah, um, I think so. It's um, really looking forward to working with them on future projects as well as this one. So it's cool. Um, we've got a couple of things. Uh, so some people can't wait to get the game, which is awesome. Thank you for your support. Uh, it looks like you can certainly add add-ons on in the pledge manager, uh, answering that, Andre. Yeah. Otherwise, uh, Edwin, thank you very much for uh, your support as well. I'm glad we could sort out that extra sherry figure for you. Uh, did you know, Matt, we actually managed to sell out of uh, on our store the limited edition sherry model? Uh, I did not impressive. know that. That's yeah. that's pretty cool. Yeah, we had a lot. We had a few of those, and uh, we blast through them. And uh, I managed to send Adam. And Adam very kindly managed to find some in the warehouse in some forgotten corner. So we managed to add them on there again, which is cool. Uh, it looks like we've got a lot of people who are really happy about S rank as well. I very much like the S rank finish. I think that's going to be really cool. 
we updated the online demo to have the uh, characters in S in S rank finish. Nice. Um, and they look good. Uh, really, there's been really some cool. serious amount of hours been put into that uh, online demo. People seem to yeah. really enjoy it. I'm uh, I'm actually I've been playing it with some of the back because on and off as the campaign's been going on. Um, it's been really cool actually. The first aid spray podcast guys very very uh, kindly uh, created a section of their Discord uh, for everybody who's backing the Resident Evil Three the board game. Yeah. Um, they very cre nicely created a section for people to sign up and then basically go in there just have like an open chat so people can hang out and talk while they're playing it. Oh, that's cool. Uh, which is really nice of them. Um, so I've been hanging out with some of the backers and playing through the demo with them all. Which has been super nice. Brilliant. And um, I'm actually hoping to sit down with the guys uh, this evening actually and blast through a demo with them because um, I think that'd be pretty cool. Yeah, definitely. As a special thank you. So. I will yeah. join you, but um, uh, Saturday's my family moving night, and we're, we're finally watching uh, Star Wars now. It's out on uh, Disney. Oh, okay. I never so got got... seeing that one in the in the cinema. Which what? Which one are you watching? The latest one, the whatever it is, the final one. The it's... very last one. Yeah. I can't remember what it's called. It's the one without Luke Skywalker in it. Okay, fair enough. I've, uh, I must admit, I am um, not really up in my Star Wars movies. Shouldn't have done that. I heard, I heard there were new Star Wars movies. I don't know any of the others. What? So um, I haven't really paid attention to them much. No? No, I, I kind of... Um, it's an interesting one. Star Wars... I loved them when I was a kid. I loved the original movies when I was growing up and I was watching them. Yeah. And then when it got to the new ones, I actually went to the cast and crew premiere for, is it Revenge of the Sith, the third one of the prequels? Right. Whichever one that is. I, I actually went to the cast and crew premiere in London for that one, Leicester Square, but which was cool. Did you? But, um, How did you get yeah, one of, my, one, of my one of my friends um, knew the continuity editor. Oh, right, nice. They managed to blag us in there, which is pretty cool. Um, but... I must admit, after those, I you know, nothing terrible. Like I, I watched them all, and I was elated and disappointed as in equal measure, the same as everybody was with those movies. In, the, in that sense, like I shared the same ups and downs as the other hardcore fans. Yeah. But the new movies, I just never really, for whatever reason, I've just never got around to watching them. I don't know how much you're missing by not having seen them. Well, I heard that. Um... I, I mean, let's be honest, right? Any any Star Wars movie is still a good. It's a it's a Star Wars movie after all, right? Is is the way I kind of look at it. But um, it's I, I quite like Rogue One. Uh, I like Rogue One a lot actually. I quite like Solo. Um, but yeah, no, I mean the latest ones are all right. But you're still watching you're still watching Star Wars. As soon as that music starts, you kind of you're in, aren't you? Mm. That does make some sense. I think um, I think for me, it was more about the fact that I, I heard. For me, the Star Wars experience is very concisely what it is, if that makes sense. Like, the universe is fun. I've read a whole bunch of the expanded fiction and bits and pieces like that. Wow, he's looking pretty gruesome. Yeah, a little bit um, better now, isn't he? Yeah, I've um, yeah, I've I've seen bits and pieces of the uh, of the expanded fiction and stuff like that, which has been kind of fun. And then, um, yeah, I think for me, it's quite there's a concise experience, which is Star Wars. And when I read that the uh, number is it Episode Seven, the first of the new ones, where they basically said it would be. Yeah. where they basically said this is just new hope again effectively for a new audience i kind of must admit sort of switched off thinking yeah. well i've got my star wars i don't necessarily need to see another generation's star wars if that makes sense no it's fair enough that's fair. anyway right well so, we so matt do, do you want to um do you want to do the narrator's voice and yeah, tell us what, where we're at let's do it right so we um uh so to catch ourselves up uh we were kicking around in um the place police station weren't we uh, yeah, oh, so yeah, yeah. So I, I can certainly fetch that up. So in our last thing, uh, Leon and Claire uh, fought their way through the police station looking for survivors. Uh, they eventually met up with Marvin, who'd left his office uh, quite comically to come find them, uh, having got bored of waiting for Leon and Claire to actually turn up. Uh, at which point they managed to revive him. He was wounded, uh, so now he joined the party. Uh, we then he then told them to rest up in the office while he went out looking for a way out of the RPD building. Uh, along the way, he met up with Ada Wong, who was uh, approaching from outside the police station and broke in. Yep. Uh, and we now find ourselves having descended the stairs into the basement. Uh, however, Leon, uh, we're obviously playing as Leon and Claire here. So Leon has gone with Marvin and Ada, who've, uh, who've obviously decided to stay behind in the RPD building for whatever reason, to maybe secure their escape. Uh, Meanwhile, Claire is isolated on her own and has turned up somewhere else. Mm. Fair enough. 
and these are all rested up now, aren't they? Well, they are indeed. Uh, okay. We're using the, we're using the RE3 uh, Survival Horribles for these ones. No. Nice. So, scenario uh, brief. Rested. Escape from RPD. Uh, with the police department above hopelessly overrun, there is no way back. As foreboding as the prospect is, the only hope is to follow the escape route and head to the sewers. But first, a new horror must be overcome. A monstrous creature, the like of which has never been seen before. Right. Hmm. So... Apparently, police station is way too dangerous. Let's go into the sewer, said <laughs> said <laughs> Leon and Claire. <laughs> yeah. But before we basically. do, let's go and take on this massively mutated, um, crazy um, mutant beast. Yeah, that seems good. Yeah, it's cool. So uh, a couple of things. Uh, so our objective is to def- on this one is to kill the G mutant. Uh, there's a couple of things uh, in order to get the keys and bits and pieces that we need. Yeah. Uh, we are going to have to work out a way to get into get into the morgue. Uh, sorry, when we sorry, get in the morgue and then exchange our uh, our key to get the lockpick. Um, so I'm going to be up the top. I'm playing as Claire, uh, and I'll be scuttling around doing that. Matt, you are Leon down the bottom. And the good news for everybody is that you have the red card key from the previous scenario, which means you can access the armory. Oh yeah. Um, and as soon as you go in there, you can choose from, and I'll tell you your options. Although I don't think I really. I don't think there's really a choice here. You are going to either be able to take the backpack, in which case your inventory is expanded by two. <laughs> or you can take the submachine gun. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> um, oh, one thing we need. Uh, I don't know if you got it out. Did you get a token out for the uh, ink ribbon? Uh, ink ribbon? I didn't. Uh, no, I got, a, I got a card out. I didn't get an actual token out. Cool. We will need ink ribbons on this one. In is fact, that, we will um, need a couple of ink ribbons. Do we? Yes. Oh, we start off with one, and there may be one in an item deck somewhere. All right, I'll just stick it in there because I can't uh, find where my little plastic do. Uh, I would quickly add in. Uh, so we have um, Alex is very is very uh, interestingly picked up on my language for the RE three survival rules. Uh, I'm not going to uh, give you any more spoilers than what I just did. Uh, and the one green man's asked why have we not got the Gatling gun in the mix. Um, the Gatling gun is. So we could take here, um, but I know Matt, and I know that it's going to be the submachine gun all the way. So, uh, mm-hmm. so there we are. Absolutely. Um, one thing worth noting, though, this is the first time we've had a red tile. Wah, wah, wah. Yeah, that's the morgue, uh, which is going to be as much fun in a zombie situation as you'd imagine it would be. Yeah. And which one's the armory? It's this one here, isn't it? Uh, no, nope. next one along. Oh, one that's oh, locked yeah, by the, the red key one. card. That's only a little green room. Oh, perfect. Going straight. As soon as you step in there, you yeah. Well, as, as soon as you step in there, you get to. Uh, you get to get your weapon, and then you can, at that point, leave it as a little safe room to hide in, or okay. whatever you want to do. All right, I might as well find the um, the, uh, the dial for the uh... extra big backpack. <laughs> <laughs> the dial for the extra big monster, you mean? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Right, cool. Who uh, who wants to go first then? Uh, I'll go first. Save you uh, things. So again, we'll work to the assumption that everyone knows uh, what they're doing in terms of items and bits and pieces. Yep. Uh, can I just double check? You've got a couple. Of, is there a dog standing on top of an item in the uh, in the bit downstairs? Um, what down here? Uh, yep. If you go up directly up to there, there should be an item behind that wall. But I'm looking at my map. Ah, uh, there's two items in that room. Well spotted, that man. Uh, I think we're missing an item A as well, well uh, in the very far in the very far left hand tile. It's a B as well. Okay. That's a B, and then we're missing an A on the very far left-hand tile. Yep, down there. What here? In the corner. There should be an A in the, in there. Fair enough. Yep. Perfect. That all seems cool. uh, legit. Yep. Okay, so in my actions, uh, I'm going to go one uh, and move on to the stairs. Oh, onto the stairs. Uh, no, I'm going to go down. Uh, one to go on the stairs, uh, two to go down the stairs. That will put out. me into a, by looks of things, that's going to put me in a yellow room. So I'll quickly roll my dice. That's a six, uh, so it's empty, which oh, is good. very, very useful. Cool. Uh, so what's that? One, two, uh, three, and then open the door for four. Open the door for four. There's a dog in there. Yeah, Poochie's going to come running. Oh, oh, oh. That's what you get for going into the pound. Uh, and then draw a card from tension deck, my friend. Uh, it's over here this week. And straight away, ooh, echoes in the dark. Movement and sounds haunt your steps, like Tom's squeaky chair. 
Uh, foreboding yeah. darkness, hiding what horror might lurk within. Uh, place an Echoes of the Darkness. Uh, and one of those handy. Uh, next character to activate, so that's me. Hooray. Uh, the, the good news here, by the way, I was having a quick look at the comments, uh, is everyone is aware that if somehow I manage to find my way into the uh, into the morgue, they'll, the zombies will be replaced by dogs. Okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm glad that, yeah, that's now picked up. <laughs> <laughs> that's def definitely a thing. Yeah. Cool. Uh, yeah, so if you stay on that tile, uh, then you have to draw three cards from the tension deck at the end of your turn, and not two. This might for uh, sorry, not one. This might force you to uh, perhaps run into the into the armory or alternatively the other room ASAP. Well, the armory, the armory red key card is. I've got it down as a blue one for some reason. I've got these the wrong way round. That's what you get. Oy, that's what you get for trying to set it all up in a in a bit of a f kerfuffle. Kerfuffle, yes. How terribly English of us. Yes. I was all of a kerfuffle, and uh, uh, that's uh, for future reference, listeners. That is one of the uh, the new tension cards. Kerfuffle. Two, um... Three, four. Right. I am <laughs> going to um, go and kick open this door. Uh, with Leon's and... trademark Resident Evil 4 roundhouse kick. One, two, roundhouse kick, three, step inside, four, trigger, so... whatever. Okay, so let's have a quick look at the armory. Uh, so the rules for the armory. The armory is a special room accessible only during the campaign uh, mode if the player's collected the red key card during scenario 4A, which we did. Which we did. Um, the first character to enter the armory may place either the submachine gun in their inventory or... Place the side pack upgrade token on their profile card. All right, quick. Your choice, um, Matt. Well, I find it hard to ignore the SMG. Has anyone ever taken the uh, the upgrade uh, pack? Let us know in the comments, everybody. Please let me know if you are crazy enough to have left an SMG behind and gone. Do you know what? I need extra pockets on my backpack. To be fair, they may well have done so if they were looking to um, if they're looking to save it for the B files. Because when you're in the B files, when you go through to this place, you'll find the item that got left behind. Oh, okay. So it might well be that they thought, you know what, the big stuff is coming in the B files playthrough. But then at the same time, I know you. That's how you work. Yeah. So you get an SMG, my friend. You yes. Get that. Uh, the interesting thing about the SMG, it takes up two armor, two item slots. Oh. So you normally got eight. So effectively, while you got this, you're down to seven. Okay. Just be conscious of this. It's a big gun. All right. Uh, uh, do the I other rules on it. Car key, key card anymore? I don't. I can lob that, can't I? Yeah, you can just lob the red key card. All right. Um, See you later, so, key lord. There you go. Okay, so I'm rolling uh, two blue, two red dice, and I am doing some shizzle on on double hits. Lovely. Okay. Uh, you really are. You've got a few different rules on that one. Um, I'll explain those as we go along. The only pertinent one so far is that it cut it. Yeah, but uh, although your item, uh, your a character card, I should say, uh, says you can't use it. This is a universal one, so everyone can use it, and it takes up two slots. Okay, all right, sweet, sweet, sweet. All right, so uh, reactions. Uh, Doggy's going to yep. go uh, up here. Echoes of Darkness. I didn't get trapped Trigger. by. Flip a card. All clear. Flicker and light above. Um, strobes out. SMG in Morse code. Uh, yeah. So oh, one other quick thing for everybody um, who would have noticed. Um, this isn't the, exactly the map from the scenario book. We've condensed it in a little bit, so it fits on Matt's um, on Matt's tray. Yes, uh, on Matt's map, effectively. Yeah, that, um, this is a tight kept, one. This one. Yeah, we've still kept the uh, we've still kept bits and pieces as they should do. So, okay, uh, where am I? I'm down here, and I've got to deal with the poochie. So I'm going to go through uh, one, two onto the item, three to pick it up. One, two, three to pick it up. That is a B item. I'm going to groan a little bit about that. There's yet more dogs. And you get a first aid spray. Very, very useful thing. Yeah. Uh, and then, what's my cunning plan? I don't know. You seem confident. I'm going to move into the, I'm going to move into the same square as the dog. Interesting. Yep. So reaction phase, and I'll roll my evade, which I pass. And Love then it. we are going to go on to the tension phase. And all clear. Somewhere in the darkness, fingernails scratch against a glass plane. Well, it's, it's one like paws of the other rest of the dogs. Uh, it's what she's got PTSD now. She just always hears dogs everywhere. So I don't have the blue card. What is the blue card? Do I know where that is? That's in uh, item that's deck probably, B, isn't it? That's one I'm probably going to find and catch you up. So don't worry too much about that. 
Okay. Um, I think. All right. I think I might just step out, and uh, I might custom handgun this. Uh, uh, oh, so let me quickly tell you about the custom handgun since you collected that last time around and upgraded. So the custom handgun works much in the same way as the normal handgun. Yeah. Uh, the big difference between it is if you roll two single hits, you can combine them to a double hit. Oh, okay. Which means, the so that means you can basically, instead of getting two pushes, you can do one damage instead. Fair enough. That sounds good. So I'm going to roll three, <laughs> obviously. This is why the, you know, we didn't give the sensible guy who doesn't shoot many bullets the custom handgun. <laughs> And I got, uh, well, one full hit and uh, and a push. There you go. That's one dead push. That's a good shot, though. That's a good shot. Killing the dog there, because that's one of the places we've been going through quite a lot in this scenario. Yeah. So that's fine and dandy. Uh, so that was set through for one, shoot for two. Uh, yep. I can go back and go into this room here, or I can come down and meet you. What do you reckon? Shall I come and deal with these dogs in here and then start going back? Uh, I'd probably go all the way over to the cells in that area, actually. It makes sense if you can sort of go all the way over there, because we're going to come back to that room anyway. So we're going right, to swing so back what, that over, way. over here, then? Yeah, I'd, I'd probably go off that direction, and then okay. um, so that we was... can check out the other room as we go. So there's one through the door, two to shoot, three, four. Yep. I've got no reactions. I've got attention. It's all, 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 all. A howl in the distance breaks the silence. Oh! Over well, there you. are some dogs lurking around, so that does make sense. Yeah. Uh, speaking of dogs, time for Claire to dodge into the corner. Never a good thing. And fail miserably. I take one damage. Uh-oh. Uh, and I'm going to push that dog away towards the door, I think. I've got too much difference. That makes sense. Uh, and then I'll go uh, two, two three. three, and pick up the item for four. Okay. Four, that is a B item. And you get an ink ribbon. Uh, let's discard that. Uh, one second. So quick look. I haven't got any actions left to discard that, have I? So I'll uh, have to wait for a moment. Discard this card to add an ink yeah. ribbon to the play pool. All right, so you've actually yeah. got to hold it for now. Yeah, I'll have to get rid of it in a turn, but that's fine. Okay. Um, cool. So reaction, so reaction phase, the dog's going to come back for me. And, and then, then tension card. All clear. Wind scratching across the empty streets. That's fine. Uh, I'm about to enter a red room for the first time in this campaign. Am well, amber room. Amber room. So... This is a good room. The oh, yeah, no, this is amber, one. isn't it? Mm. Three. Roundhouse kick. Four. Step inside onto the... Uh, for, few, for audience at home, there are other ways to enter rooms other than roundhouse kicks. But they are not as good. Yeah. Right, so I'm just, on just a PSA. Amber tile and... Oh. Good times. Uh, one liquor. <laughs> God, please tell me it's not going to be like that. Oh, a liquor just drops from the ceiling in front of you. Well done, Matt. Hooray for me. So, um... Was that your fourth action? That was my fourth action. Okay. So Licker's going to move one, and then um, and then I'm going to draw a tension card, I guess. You get the other Licker card, I'd be amazed. Oh, no. <laughs> it's all clear. Uh, okay. I'm gonna Times? Say, yeah. I'm, please don't keep rolling the umbrella symbol. <laughs> all right. Uh, so Claire's going to move into the same square as the dog, uh, and then try to keep moving again, which she's going to make this time. Uh, so that's one, two, yeah. uh, three... Yeah. Uh, and then, do I want to try and go? Uh, sorry, one, two, three. Oh, could go through the door, isn't it? Might as well go through the door. Step. Yeah. For four. Yeah. Doggy's going to come jumping. Doggy's going to come running at you, and you're just going to slam the door at the last minute, Hanna uh, Barbera like style. And so I realised that uh, the tension card's about to do something really horrible to me. Anyway. Oh, it could. Let's be see anything. what we got. It's oh, it's all clear. Scratchy wind. Yeah, on the streets above. Cool. Thank okay. you. Um, I think that the best way of dealing with a liquor is to um, shoot it with a machine gun. Quite well, honestly. I mean, that's a, that's a choice. So machine gun, I'm going to get uh, two of these and two of these, and I'm going to knock that down from eight down to... Uh, no, it starts on six, this bad. Oh, does it? Mm, so the cannon gun has eight. Right. That only starts on six. Drop it down to five, then. And... How many wounds does a liquor have? Three. Three. Uh, oh well, I've done one wound and I've um, pushed two it pushes. Twice, so I'm going to push it. Um, it I, could I, be. I'll push it out here for and save it for a rainy day. Yeah, remember the wound token for it. Yeah. So that'll do. Uh, I'm going to roundhouse kick the door. The two. Nice. Uh, three, four. No reactions. Please don't be that one where it comes through. No. Dead ambush! 
<laughs> a dark silhouette is the only warning before glass shatters to jagged shards and death resumes its tireless pursuit. Spawn two zombies on the same tile as the act on the player on the closest doobery whatnot. Uh, right, so um, I reckon that they've just broken through from the for the nearest um, uh, swimming pool. Obviously, yeah, there's a swimming pool above. It's, it's, um, what's yeah. happened is the ceiling's just fallen through. It's speedo um, speedo one and speedo two coming at me. Yeah, and uh, it's just cra- it's just collapsed down. From the uh, from the ceiling above, with these two very confused looking zombies. Yeah, and they just <laughs> the pick themselves up, arrange their speedos, and start coming at me. Yeah. Right over, th- over to you. So uh, right. right, well, I think I'm going to slam that door in the dog's face because that just doesn't feel like a thing I want a story I want to see. Okay. Uh, then I'm going to go up the stairs for two. Uh, sorry, for two and then three. Uh, so, okay. So right. two and then three up the stairs yeah. and then move forward. Oh, and then I'm using the ink room. Uh, so I'll just add an ink room to the ball. Sounds good. And I'll lose that bad one boy. There. Lovely. Happy days. All right. So uh, an intention deck. Uh, oh, tough hide. The one oh, this is not good. That's going to change you. Yeah, that changes what I'm going to. Oh my goodness. Oh, it's only zombies, right? So I'm just going to go in and empty a submachine gun into a load of dogs. Yeah, right. I think that makes sense. One to open the door. Two. Hmm. I think I'm just going to start shooting them. You're going to bait the zombies out into this room? I do. Well, I was the zombies are going to move. You're going to shoot a couple of times. They could be on top of you, remember? Yeah. I've got two. I've got three. Tell you what, three. Now let's shoot first, right, and see what happens. So, uh, do I shoot SMG again? Uh, it was a bit of a waste. waste. It is a little bit of a waste. Let's go uh, handgun, um, three bullets. Mm. Uh, that has to be doing it in the pros, of course. Uh, I'm going to shoot the uh, the nearest dog to me. Okay. And I get a double hit. So that dog is dead. Uh, which is fine. And then, uh, so... We just to jump on you. That's going to go there, that's going to go there, and this dog's going to appear on me. Um, You've got one action left. So... If I knife him, the dog, yeah, and push, these zombies are going to come through the door onto me, aren't they? Yeah, and then the dog will be the other side, and then it'll get a reaction where it can jump onto you. Yeah, so let's not do that. So let's just uh, slam the door shut. Well, remember that's a that's a uh, evasion. Yeah, you're doing an action in the same square. That's fine. But I like I like the confidence. Not a problem. Yeah, easy, easily done. Okay. Okay. Uh, then you've got a reaction phase, so the dog's going to try and bite you. Yeah. So uh, let's. Uh... Dodge that. Lovely. Yep. For future then... reference, this is how we do it in the pros. No easy actions for us. <laughs> Flickering light above dispels. What easy actions are there? Uh, well, you could have just shut the door while you didn't have to make an evade roll. You crazy, crazy man. Well, I kind of wanted to see whether I killed the dog or not. Oh, I see. Fair enough. That makes sense. Otherwise, I would have had two dogs on me. If I hadn't killed fair. it, then I probably would have shot again and then dealt with the shizzle from there. Anyways, over to you. You're upstairs. Uh, no, you're downstairs now. Uh, no, I, yeah, I'm in the cesspool now. Yeah. Having fun there. I think my turn is pretty straightforward, to be honest. I'm going to go one, two, three outside that door. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to press X on the boss door and discover that it's actually locked. Click, click, uh, click. And then I'm going to go one X, one step further uh, around the corner. Oh, actually, wait, wait, sorry. Is there an item card in, there that, um, in that tiny room? I better open the door to that then, in which case, my action. Fair enough. Uh, one, two, so we're on one, two, three, and then four to open it. Yeah, yeah, that, uh, that is uh, that's fine. And you are gonna be all clear. Yes, your that's foot, a safe room. It's got nice music in it, it makes me feel good. Going good. ominously. Um, uh, I need to deal with this dog, don't I? Um, let's custom handgun it again. Yeah, dead dog. Oh no, that's only a you get a push. It's only a push. Oh, that is no use to man or beast. Uh, doesn't matter where I push it, does it? Well, it's used to this particular beast. It means it's not dead. But you could run into the corner and pick up the item now. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. So, one, two, three. Pick up the item for four. Um, and that is uh, a... The Magnum! Ah, oh, <laughs> love ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Magnum, you start with... Six bullets. Oh yeah. yes. It originally had eight, 
as per the game, and it was just so busted. Eh? All right, reactions. Dog's going to jump on me, not realizing it's it's his final mistake. <laughs> Tension deck, it's all clear. A flickering light dispels all worries as Leon looks at the reflection on a silvered magnum. As Leon looks down at the bandolier of weapons that he's carrying. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's got an SMG, a shotgun, a magnum, a custom handgun, and a knife. He's literally feeling like Rambo right now. Uh, I'm going to, meanwhile, in Sensible Town, uh, right. I'm going to just walk into that room, uh, One, get into the same two, square. Three. Yeah. Uh, which was a B. Yep. Blue key cardio. Just what Man, we fantastic. Need. That's exactly what we need. Um, uh, cool. Then... Uh, can I have a quick look at what, what, what items have I got in my inventory, Matt? Shall I have a quick look at it? Right, let's have a quick look. Because um, you've got quite... Uh, yeah, so you've I'm, got... I'm very conscious I can encourage so much stuff. Right, so you've got handgun, bowgun, grenade launcher, first aid spray, Six. two of, and a blue key card. You do have a knife, but I didn't get the card out for that. No, that's fine. Well, in which case, that knife uh, is going to go inside that box. Okay. I'm going to drop off the knife uh, for an action. Okay. Um, I think I'll hold on to the rest because well. that all looks very valuable to me. Yeah. All right. Cool. Uh, so what have I got? I've got one, two, three, four. That's my fourth action. So now card, attention card. Because uh, one, one is used the item box, remember? Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, tough hide. One round, zombies which are killed by an attacker are replaced by corpses. Okay, no, that's fine. That's, that's fine. not the worst place to get that. Um, okay, over to you. Yeah, all right. I feel like I want to kill this dog. Um, we are going to have to go through that area in the end. Yeah, unless we so, have a very long walk around, I think. Um, Shotgun would be a more direct way of doing it, I think. Go on, then. Let's, let's, Leon's... Uh, Willing to to mix it up a little bit, and he's going to uh, have a little bit of a shotgun blast. Yeah, double hit. So Bye, Poochie. That is a dead dog. So that was one, two, e -E three. Roundhouse kick. Before. Uh, nothing in there. Tension. All clear. Over to you, sir. Cool. Uh, so I am going to go. Uh, pretty much my my route is pretty straightforward. I've got to just run towards the other end. So one, two, one, three, two, three, four. and then four. Cool. And then tension card. Uh, all clear. Uh, back down here. One. Uh, what color is that? Oh, uh, that is yellow. a yellow room. Okay. Right. Oh, I really hope I roll an umbrella. Oh, okay. Double. Amazing. Double psychology just amazing. <laughs> Uh, that's going to give you two zombies. All right, cool. Um, so um, one in front of you and one around the corner. Yeah, we're going to have the most dangerous of all zombies. Um, we're going to have a yellow shirt. Oh, that guy. That guy. And uh, and we'll have green shirt in front of us as well. Uh, which one was it? Yellow shirt, who was also known as the uh, as the as the. He went all the way around, didn't he? And then yeah, as the Voyager. The he went on yeah. a massive path last time. Yeah. Um, oh, man, I wish that hadn't happened. Um, <laughs> well, it's greatest understatement. Okay. Um. Well, let's just shoot this zombie with a with a custom handgun. I'm I'm going to shoot two bullets. bullets. I'm just going to shoot two. Okay. Because I'm feeling I'm feeling bit. lucky. Yeah. So green shirt's dead for two. Uh, he reacts. Three, four, he reacts, and then we do attention. <gasps> Bigger mortis, jaw snapping, claws swiping in the air. Your foes suddenly jolt forward, death glittering in their bloodshot eyes. Did not see this coming. Yellow shirt <laughs> launches himself forward um, yeah. and make uh, he performs a special attack. Uh, this basically means he's going to uh, just hit you for one damage automatically. You can't evade it. Um, and you're just going to take one damage. The good thing, um, the good thing about poor um, about poor Yellow Shirt is after he grabs you and bit at your ankle, you're going to stamp on his head and kill him. So he gets at least removed from the table. So yeah, one damage, uh, but in exchange, Yellow Shirt is gone. All right, poor Yellow Shirt. Yeah, his time um, will come again, I'm sure. I think we might have a slight delay on my uh, on my stream of view. Have you dropped your health down by one? Uh, I have. Uh, I have not. Okay. Cool. Right. Well, that's an unorthodox way of dealing with uh, Yellow Shirt Matt, but well done. Yeah, well, he's, he's entire time chasing us all the way down into the basement, and then the first thing that happens is you stamp on his head and kill. Poor guy. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to go up to the door, uh, open it for two, uh, step through for three, and then see what happens in the yellow room. 
Okay. And our survey says uh, it's a two, which is one zombie and one corpse. One zombie, one corpse, one walking. Right, yeah, what do you want put, where? Uh, let's put the corpse in front of me and the zombie around the corner, because I don't much fancy the idea of opening that door too much. Yeah, no, that seems fair. Uh, sorry, dealing with that. Uh, okay, so that's I'm going to step onto the corpse for another one, mm -hmm. uh, and then roll. Uh, which is standing up, good times. So might as well have just been a zombie, as far as anyone knows. Uh, one action early there. Early to bring yellow shirt. He is a little bit. Um, yeah, he's Siamese twin. Let me, in which case... I need my handgun. I'm going to fire two bullets at it. So drop me down by two, please. Pow, pow. Uh... Oh, you appear to have 15 bullets. Did I shoot with the dog earlier? No, I've made it so far. Uh, I killed the zombie. That's good. It's, okay. it's dead once more. There's a corpse. All right. Um, Watch that guy. And then he's, he's the, other react. Oh, the other one will react. He'll react to the gunshot, and then he'll move again in the reaction phase. He moves two. Lovely. And this car tells you that fresh air fills your nostrils. Someone's left the window open. Well, I'm, no, this area oh, actually on the outside. Yeah, I'm in the cesspool. This is actually outside area. Yeah, you've so just got a catch of the, of the actual real outdoors. Yeah, in a cesspool. Uh, Beautiful. Surrounded by sewage water. All right, where am I going? So I don't need to go that way. I'm going to go into the cells and, and get some stuff. Uh, yeah, that, that, should, that door directly in front of you should be locked, actually. That should have a uh, blue key card, I think. Uh, uh, no, sorry. no, that's a lockpick uh, one. A lockpick one. Uh, that's fine. We'll remember that. So um, yeah. uh, one, two, three, four. Four, basically, and reaction car. Uh, no reactions, no escape. Behind you, you hear the cre creak of a door opening and closing again, accompanied hmm. by the sound of shuffling footsteps. So let's quickly work this out. We've got so one, two to where the dog pound is, or one, two, three. So the dog actually is going to come out into the um, yeah, into the room of the stairwell. That one there. Uh, it's going to just yeah, just be in front of it there. So the um. That's not less than ideal, but could be a lot worse, right? Yeah, okay. Could be the liquor. Uh, that is true. All right, you cool. go. Uh, in my turn, then, I'm just going to try and run past that zombie, I think. So one, two into the same square as the zombie. Two. Uh, three to move past it, which I do. Lovely. And then four to put me one square beyond from that. And four there, yeah? Uh, so one, two into the square. Square, move past the door. Yeah, one there, yeah. Yep. Uh, zombie reaction phase is going to spin around and jump car after me. Yeah. And then I'm going to open... Am I in the same square as the door yet? Or I'm no. not quite, am I? No, no, cool. Okay, in which case, tension cards. Uh, all clear. Your footsteps echo ominously. Um, that zombie's obviously got carpet slippers on and he's just shuffling along very, very quietly. Bless him. Bless his heart. <laughs> right, I'm going to kick open the door to a, uh, a yellow room and I'm going to step in for two. Oh, you're in the cells now. And a four. four uh, is... A four? A corpse and an unsettling feeling. Oh, it's an extra yeah. card. Yeah, you've got your extra card in the tension phase. Ooh, corpse right in front of me. So that's t two. Uh, walk in for three. It's a six. It's not a zombie, then. Uh, and then. And then step here for four. Um, no reaction. So tension. Oh, my goodness. Assisting unease, shadows spill from each corner, stretching over the floor, dancing in the flickering light. There is no safe place. Uh, place a persistent unease token on this tile. Next time the character is placed on this tile from another tile, remove it and roll on the yellow encounter. Okay. I Not less than ideal. That's going to kind of. Well, I know I've got a little token here, actually. Let's it see. couldn't have happened. Yeah, unfortunately, for us, couldn't have happened in one of the cells where we're never going to go back to. Um, yeah, no, that's fine. I, I've got to draw an extra tension card, haven't I? Because you do. Of the um, existing on eight. Oh my! Cr Crimson thirst. This is new. The virus coursing through the veins of your foes fan the height of their bloodlust. Their eyes are rabid and fever fevered. For one round, all enemy attacks inflict an additional wound. That's, uh, that's not the best. That could be worse. Just don't get bitten by anything. Yep. Yeah, no, I think I'm all right. Uh, yeah, as long as I don't go back and change my mind and go back to where that zombie is, I should be good. But um, that's dangerous. That's nice and dangerous to have later in the deck. How yeah. are we doing for? Uh, how are we doing, by the way, for tension deck stuff? Uh, oh, hold on. Let's see if I can guess. Um, Sixteen. One, okay. two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Oh no, I'm massively 
It's uh, 21. Okay, so we've got loads of activations yet. God, that felt a little bit lower than... Anyway. Okay, that's cool. I'm just looking at the typewriter and working out where we're going to go. So let's go to the uh, the door, in which case, for one, open it for two, uh, step through for three, and that should be a green room looking at my map, so that should be fine. Yeah. Are you going to shut uh, the door or not? Uh, uh, I'm not too fast. So then I'm going to step through, uh, a step over to where that uh, one is for four. For four. Uh, there'll be a zombie reaction. Because All that right. staggers closer. Like that. And we're going to have, oh, Vigor Mortis. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, that's less than ideal. So that's going to spawn a zombie in the same square as me, and it's going to try and attack because there's the other. There's two an enemy on the same to. tile. Um, there isn't one. There is no tile. So yeah, you you've suddenly. I think it's yellow shirt. <laughs> oh, basically, I did the thing where I, well, he's going to be in the same square as me. In fact, oh yeah, of course. Uh, he is. I make an evade roll, and I evade yellow shirt for now. But I've basically done the thing where you open the door and the zombie just steps straight through just and launches oh. himself at you. That's yeah, cool. okay. Not so good. Uh, oh, question from Alex. Uh, which was our favourite RE games? Favourite and least favourite? I go really, on, mate. You can go first. Well, so I really still have strong memories of Resi 1. I played uh, with my friend Mark Harrop, and uh, we were on his PlayStation, and we did the whole uh, pass the controller. And uh, I distinctly remember several times where he just got so freaked out and scared by it that even though it was his go, he refused to take the controller and made me play it through. Um, and Amazing. yeah, never ever forget when the dogs burst through the through the glass. <laughs> uh, for me, I have lots and lots and lots of fond memories, much the same as you were playing the original Resident Evil. But I'm going to go with Resident Evil Gaiden, which is the Game Boy one. Oh my god, uh, you're such a I know. stuff. <laughs> I've got to get my hipster credentials here. It's, this is well known in the Resident Evil community these days, I think. They did so much. Considering it's a Game Boy and it's got zero processing power, really, compared to what you might have now, like even less than an app would have now. Like it, they did so much with it. They were so inventive. And if if I had the opportunity to uh, make a little pocket-sized Resident Evil game of that, I would. Uh, I'd very much appreciate it. Uh, so um, yeah. So just to answer Brett, um, I bought a bag of these uh, for about a quid off of eBay, or like two quid. So they are just basically little um, little uh, card token holdery doodad things. See, like they've just got like little teeth in them, and they grip hold of bits of cardboard. We use them when we're um, uh, doing game design and mocking up things. So <laughs> they just use they hold the walls up. Um, okay. Over to um, me. Uh, where am I? Oh, I'm down here. Right, so I'm going to step on here. One. Pick up the item for two. Celebrate grenade rounds. Uh, that would be good for me later on. How are you doing for items, by the way, Matt? Uh, two, four, five, plus my knife, six. Okay. Is that including the fact that submachine gun counts as two? Uh, no. Seven, so eight. You might need you might want to drop that knife at some point then, in which case... It's fully loaded at the moment. Mm. Yeah, no, that's fine. Um, so I'm going to... Uh, so that was uh, one, pick up for two, three, kick open the door. Do I you need to go need in to there, go in that room. I don't even need to go in there. No. Uh, in which case, I'm going to go on to this room. Uh, this one with the corpse. Knock over a door. It's not a... Bad guy, oh, no reactions for me. Tension deck is all clear, like a boss. Okay, uh, for me then, I'm going to try and open that door uh, with a... Yep, I've opened the door. Uh, I'm going to try and step through the door, because I've got the, uh, the blue key cards. Cool. I've managed to step through the door, so that's two. Okay. Uh, the good news, uh, having done this, is now I'm in a yellow room. Yep. So let's roll that and see what I get, which is a... Impressive two, one zombie and one corpse. Uh, where do you want them? Uh, let's put the corpse in the one where, yeah, put the zombie in front of me. Okay. And then put the corpse in the corner because that way I can avoid the corpse. I don't have to worry about too much about going on it. All right. Uh, and then let's shut the door, I think. <coughs> Sorry, excuse me. So that's uh, one, Bang. two, three to shut the door. You got one action. Yeah. What do we think? To, uh, if I want to shoot that zombie, I think I do. Let's spend two bullets shooting that zombie, I think. All right. Uh, the zombie is, when he said rolls, he rolls cock dice. The zombie has got a push. So let's push that zombie back one square. Cool. Reactions, he's going to stagger back, back towards me again. Back. And then we got a tension deck card. Uh, you are all clear. Seems good. All right. 
Over here. One. Kick open the door. Two. Three. Four. Roll to see if that corpse gets me. It doesn't. Tension card. All clear. Back over to you. Right, okay. Um, so I'm going to go into the same square as the zombie. Yeah, one. I'm going to try and open the door, which I've done. Nice. For two. Uh, I'm going to try and step through for three, which I have also done. Let's put me in that three. same room. Uh, that is an amber room, though. Right, roll. Uh, two corpses and an unsettling feeling. Uh, I draw an extra card during the tension phase. Two corpses and one one literally where you are. Uh, so they're both going in the same square then as the uh, as the other thing. They can't spawn in my square. All right. So uh, there's just two bodies laying on top of the iron. That's and not super encouraging. Feeling. This could be really, really, really bad. Uh, if I walk into that room, so both of them stand up, and I'm drawing extra tension, and then the other zombie follows me in. That's kind of fun. One, uh, two, three. Right, I'm going to step into the same square as the, as the corpses. I'm feeling bold. I should not have felt bold. Was that safe? Um, I have both those two zombies standing in front of me now. Both of them? Yeah. Ah. Oh. Well, that's a bit of a mess. That's not what you wanted, is it? It's not. So reaction phase, uh, I need to make an evade roll. Yeah. Which I have failed. Uh, so I get a bit, I take one damage. All right, caution. And let's push one of those zombies away. Uh, go and type on that. Yeah, and then the other guy's going to stagger through into the room as well. Ooh, what's going on in here? Yeah. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. Oh, Who's no, this? it's the busies and they're beating up someone in cells. <laughs> Who knew? <laughs> Right. Uh, attention card, please don't draw anything really bad, Matt. My like dogs. A wind scratches across the empty streets. It's just horrible. Loose detritus. Right. Uh, I'm going to pick an item up for one, but I'm going to see if uh, Zombie yeah. gets up. He does get up. That's we are was, not doing well with this so far. That is what I was hoping for. In fact, I'm going to make him one of these like lurking little... Coming at me. Okay, um, so uh, what item did you get? Oh no, you wait, you're going to have to drop your knife. Uh, let's assume that you're going to have to drop your knife there, Matt, otherwise you can't actually pick that up if you've got AI items. Okay, I'll drop my knife. I mean, I could drop the grenade rounds, who needs those? Yeah, right. Oh, flipping bowgun bolts, I don't need those either. You're finding all the stuff I need, well done. Not good. Um, okay, so the knife has gone. I'll tell you what, bowgun bolts or grenade rounds are going in a minute. Um... Right, custom handgun. Let's fire a couple of bullets into uh, old Zomboy on the floor. Why aren't you just running away and leaving him? Oh, because I'm Leon S. Kennedy. <laughs> Never let it be said. I want to steal your fun. Sure. But... All right, I'm going to walk away. If he bites me, it's your fault. Okay, luckily for you, he doesn't bite me. So that's two, uh, yeah. three, uh, four. Absolutely not shutting any doors because uh, that's not how I roll. Reaction, he's going to slither along the floor. Oh, yeah. And then we're going to uh, hit an all clear, still the wind scratching on the detritus, and we're good to go. Uh, over right, in the. Let's uh, try a, this like a pro now. Yeah. I'm going to pick up the item, which I do. Nice. It's a A item. I wish you'd picked up the stupid bowgun bullets. Well, yeah. Look! Shotgun shells. <laughs> Excellent. We're doing this badly. Uh, okay, that's not the best. Uh, then I'm going to make an evade roll uh, into the same square as the zombie just walks in, which I've done. Nice. Spinning uh, around. So two. I'm going to go through the room. Yep, go through here for three, yeah. which I failed that time. So I'm going to take one damage. All right. Push the zombie away. Amber, amber, amber. Type on this. Yeah, not so good. Yeah, exactly. Go see you, buddy. So one, two, three, and I'm going to step through for four. Four. Uh, they're going to basically all just cluster at the door, which I assume is yeah, going to get are. slammed shut in a minute. Uh, I think that's extremely Unless likely. the tension deck says otherwise. Oh, please, no. <gasps> Hideous screech. Like <laughs> with, <laughs> with an inhuman and scathing screech, a horrific creature drops from the ceiling, blocking the path out. Oh, Smaller liquor on the same like tire was the active player. It's bad, man. I don't like it. <laughs> it's literally on the court. It's been feeding on the courts with its long tongue from the ceiling. 
Oh, that was looking so much nicer until a moment ago. Right. <laughs> Wicked. No, no, it's not. Meanwhile, <laughs> right, um, I'm going to have to head back. Are you going to shut the door is the question? No. I don't need to. I'm just going to casually just stroll that away. zombie crawl all the way around. Yeah. Uh, so you're going to come out here in here. So I need to start heading towards you, don't I? Yeah, because then that way we can start sorting out. We can trade around this ammo okay. and stuff. I'm literally going to roundhouse kick down the corridor. Wah! Here! Hua! Ha! And this guy's going to slither after me, and then I'm going to then draw an all You're literally that guy in the world of Warcraft who's just jumping when he runs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there's a question. Uh, is there any oh. chance we could get anything for sound effects? What, you're telling me that my sound effects are good enough? Yes. <laughs> uh, that's exactly what it is. Uh, um, uh, was there any reason why we didn't see any miniatures of the N64 alt costumes for Claire and Leon for this game? Uh, there is. Uh, there is. is that we asked uh, we asked Capcom, and because I think they were with Angel Studios, if memory serves, who developed the uh, the original Resident Evil, yep. um, the original Resident Evil game. I think there was a question as to whether we could use them, um, and we Absolutely. decided in the end it was something we just want, didn't want to pursue. Generally, if if it's in the game. Uh, we are definitely trying to make it. If it's not being made, it's generally um, for uh, IP ownership <laughs> rights and legal mm. shenanigans. So, uh, yeah, that, that's a, that was a long, convoluted kind of ownership mm. issue. Uh, I will also quickly jump in. Uh, Eric, who's asked, um, I think that's how you say your name, so apologies if otherwise. Uh, I'm hoping each side of the, each tile shape will have artwork that is specific to the expansion and not repurpose that work from the main game. Uh, I can confirm that the City of Ruin tiles have only City of Ruin artwork on them. Uh, the Raccoon City tiles in the uh, RE3 Kickstart only have um, Raccoon City artwork tiles on them. So Ooh. there's no dupes whatsoever. There you go. And I've looked up, uh, where are we at now as I return to our game? Uh, uh, liquor and uh, three zombies and a corpse. It's just not the good days, is it? This is not a good day, Matt. Uh, I'm going to use that first day, one of those first aid sprays to start with, because uh, Claire is looking very beaten up at this point. Yep, first aid spray for uh, one action. Yep. And gives you three levels back, so one, two, three, full health. Uh, then I can go two. Yeah, okay, got this. So I'm going to go two into the down. That means the liquor is going to move into the same square as me. So two to here, liquor moves in. Yep. yep. Uh, I'm going to bowgun it. For three. Okay. Puts you down to four bullets? No. Five bullets. It does. Uh, so pretty, yeah, puts it, puts it down to five. Uh, that is a fairly nice shot, actually. That's going to be a push, and then it's going to be one second. I think your memory serves, so I quickly look at my bowgun card. Yep. So I've got two pushes and one damage on it. So I'm going to push that thing. Uh, into the room with a weird thing that's going to a slightly weird dance is going to happen here. I'm going to push it into the same room as the zombies are, but all the zombies are going to step through to the square where it yeah. to the uh, square outside the door, basically. Yeah. Um. And then my fourth action, I'm going to jump on the stairs. Acha! They're going to come down here. Like that. Yeah, uh, the liquor's going to move one um, to follow me because I moved. Yeah. So the, oh no, the, actually no, the liquor wouldn't be able to move into the square with the zombies, uh, so it would sort of growl a little bit and be upset, and yeah. then it will, as a reaction, then it will go to there. So it's all good. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, that seems about right. You've got a uh, lot of zombies down there. Sorry for uh, yeah, blocking the camera so much there, but that's a lot of shit all going on. <clears throat> it's pretty grim. Uh, um, I strongly recommend we don't go back this way. We're not going back. Oh, we might have to go that way. We might have to, depending on what you've had fun-wise with your uh, devastation so far. You're all clear with a flickering light. Okay. Uh, so that way takes us in, and we've got to go back and take him out, haven't we? But we need to get in this room to get the lockpick. Yeah, but we can go through the, the door that should have the lockpick on it uh, that doesn't have one on there just now. Yeah. And maybe we put on the, maybe put on the blue key card um, thing just so it helps as a reminder yeah, that that's, that's locked. Yeah, that's um... It's in the top right-hand corner of the screen where I can see. That's fine. Or, I'll just stick it there. Oh, you got it anyway. Yeah, no, stick that there. Yeah. So that basically, we can go through there to get back up to where we need to go. Because okay. that way seems considerably clearer. All right. Um, the lick of your down the bottom. Yeah, so. Ha! We are! He are! Uh, ho! And, well done, Leroy. And he's Solid gonna, place. He's going to come out there. And no escape. Oh, my God. Behind you, you hear the creak of a door opening. 
and close it. There's no way it was... opened because I've left them all open. I don't think it. I, well, I don't think it's open. I don't think it's behind you. You can either bring that zombie into your room, or you can bring the other two into your room. Because um, they're equidistant. I'm gonna bring these two in actually. Yeah, you have to deal with them anyway, right? I think so. Yeah. No, that seems fair. Okay. Cool. Over to you. So uh, one to use the stairs. All right. Yeah. Uh, and that's going to put me into a yellow room. That is yellow. And our survey says that's a six. That's empty by the looks of things. Oh, nice. Uh, so one for there, two, three, four. Yep. Hit your tension. You're all good. Uh, we are time. starting to need to think about getting to that typewriter. Two, four, on? six, eight, ten. Have we got... Yeah, we, we're fine, I think. You just got to get right. to that type, right? Yeah, I can't waste any activations, basically. I'll boost it around that way. Okay. Um, what shall I shoot these zombies with? Or shall I... I think I'm going to... I am going to shoot one. Custom handgun. Two bullets. Takes me down to two. And... You're quite lucky not to find any uh, ammunition here. Oh, my goodness. Um... Okay, one damage for you. Are they, can they attack me from that square, can they? Oh, uh, only, You only get to push one of them. The other one's still on the same square as me. You only got one bite. Uh, no, so they, were, they weren't on the same square as me. They were next to me. Oh, I see. So, oh, in which case, yes. They're going to step into your square. So they step in as a reaction. So that's yep. one. Uh, oh, so you don't take any damage from a bite. That makes sense. Yes. Yeah. Sorry, I thought you were on the same square for some reason. Two, I'm yep. going to... Shall I try and dodge? We are going to go back this way. Shotgun isn't going to be in the world. Okay. I remember you made an attack, though, so the crawling zombie's going to get closer. Uh, I will shotgun one, boy. just to make sure. It's the only way to be sure. Shotgun! Alright, a double hit. So one of them's dead. Yep. And the other one doesn't do anything. Uh, crawling guy's going to get one closer. Yep. And... Um, I might as well shoot him again, because if we're coming through this way... Or do we just dodge the one? Uh, dodging isn't a terrible idea because we do need to start thinking about that. We have to fight a horrible mean boss at the end of this. Yeah, uh, I'm going to try and dodge away for three, and do, um, and then I'm going to open the door. Four. He's going to move. He's going to step in with me. I'm going to flick a green card, and we're good well, to go. Okay, uh, just move me along, that. One, two, three. Kick open the door. Oh, this one's that, still got a bit of that, Is that four or is that three that's open that door? Uh, Sorry, one, you're slightly off camera there, so I can't see how many. Oh, big card. All right. All right. Uh, so uh, you were here. One, two, three. Yep. Kick open the door for four. Right, okay. No, uh, no reactions. So you're all clear. That's fine. Cool. Um, I'm going to try and dodge away from this, uh, this zombie and successfully do that for one. Yep. Um, I'm gonna shut the door for two, three, four. Tension Makes deck. Sense. Green over to you. Cool. Yeah. So I'm gonna step in. Yeah. Uh, and we could possibly move that tile out of the way if you want to move the camera back to where it was okay. and uh, and do that as a thing. Yeah. Uh, cool. Uh, and that is going to be. He rolls a two without even looking at the thing. Uh, huh. Grim. That's an amber room. So that's one zombie and lurch forward. All enemies on this tile and link tiles perform a move reaction. So that zombie goes down and then it comes towards it. Is there one in the, just quickly, is there a spawn point in the same square as that item? Uh, yes. Yeah, so it would be there and then move right, into my and square. Right, onto you, yeah. Yeah, of course, that was one. Uh, I think we need to be in a hurry, don't we? Yeah. Hmm. All right, then, in which case, there's no sense in there's no sense in wasting time here. I don't think uh, I'm going to dodge on the move, which I do. And what do we think, team? Should we go to the square with the iron? No, I, don't, I can't afford to waste time. I'm going to move one uh, past that. Yep, and then so that's two, and then three, four up towards the door. Okay. Uh, yeah, he's going to do that, and then tension card. All clear. Cool. All right, roundhouse kick. <laughs> I need to see the liquor that you forgot about previously. There's the liquor. Um... Oh, I really don't think we all wait that. Save that for the boss, my friend. Oh. Uh, it's already taken really a fun. I can handgun it, I suppose, can't I? You can. Last two bullets on the handgun. 
And then it's click, click, click. Dead Man's Click, as, it, as it's called. Right, give me some good results. Neither of those are good results. He is at least going to move into a square. Hmm, okay. That isn't terrible. Uh, so that was one, two wasted bullets. So I'm going to try and dodge away for two. And do so. Uh, shut yep. the door for three. And then move up here for four. And then hit the old all clear. Over to you. Hey. So uh, I right, can I'll probably open, open door for go one. and do the um, do the typewriter of, and then come. Yeah, that's you. that's the kind of plan. So open the door for one. Yeah. Uh, go through for two. Yeah. Uh, shut the door behind me for three. Yeah. And then I'm going to step forward once for there. And we're going to get an all clear. That's fine. Right. The good suggestion would be if you grab the blue key card, then you can go take care of that while I do the typewriter. Okay. If you want to do that way? Yeah, that's no, fine. Uh, so, uh, one, two, three, four. Uh, well, you can actually trade with me from. Yeah, you can. We're in the yeah, same square. Can we trade? I thought that cost an action. Uh, it, it does. So you could have traded me from a square away if you wanted to, or not. Entirely up to you. Um, or you can trade with me on your activation, right? Yeah, how many, yeah, we've got a little stuff we've got enough cards, so we can do that. Yeah, okay, no worries. Yeah, okay, so tension deck. Oh, rising fear. Blood stains the oh, floor. This is the worst the, corridor to get in. The tells of the horror once visited here. Smashed surroundings and broken lights, no comfort. Place a rising fear token on the same tile as the active player. It remains in play for the remainder of this scenario. Any character on this tile at the start of their tension phase must draw an additional card. None of so that, that one doesn't. That one doesn't go back in the deck. Uh, that one sits one side. So as a reminder for the rules. So that's okay. not going to go back in now. All right. Um, <clears throat> grim. <sighs> okay. This is an expensive corridor to be in. Suddenly, this suddenly is you need to one open the door. Two. Three, let's trade. Let's trade some stuff first. Uh, actually, no. I could just open the. You need the blue key card to exchange. So I'm going to give. Uh, no, dude, you've got to go for the type right because of rising fear. No, no, I, yeah, no, that's cool. I can do that. That, that shouldn't be too much of an issue, but... <coughs> so, sorry, excuse me. So if I trade for you, one, two... Oh, I see what you're saying. Actually, you've you got to go through the, the door, right. shut the door, and then you've got to just move towards the type right. Otherwise, we're going to deck ourselves. All right, no worries. Let's follow your thing, then. So open the door for one, step inside yeah. for two, shut the door for three, move across... Uh, well, we've got to see what's in there first. For four. That's, um, oh, yeah. Amber Room. And that's a five, which is only one zombie. That could be a lot worse. It could be a lot worse. It's uh, guy there. You're going to move down here. Uh, you're not in the rising fear room, so you. Uh, so sorry, that was open door for one. Step two for two. Yeah. Shut the door for three. Why do I shut the door? So you're not in the rising fear area. Oh no, it's only if you're on the title you have to draw that, not if you're linked. Oh, so that's okay. okay. Oh, okay, oh, that'd so be grim could... otherwise. That'd be really grim. Uh, yeah, in which case, then I'll use a typewriter for three. Oh, can you... Uh, no, open the door Sorry, for, for one. Four, step two for two, three, four. Yeah, Yeah, because you can use it while you're adjacent. Oh, I don't okay. have to be in the same square as a typewriter. So... All right, in which case, you can use a, one of our typewriter tokens. Imp, ribbon, yep. down. Yep. Everything gets shuffled back in. They're all clears. Yeah, that's... It is what it is. I mean, we got rid of it. With the type, when you're done, the typewriter goes off the board now. Uh, that's done. Okay. All right. And that zombie's going to stagger a little bit closer to us. Cool. I actually wonder whether I come into that room so we don't... Um... Yeah, I think you do, so we don't have to worry about the extra rising fear. Yeah, okay. Let's... Um... Oh. All right, let's just. Uh... I dropped my knife as well, didn't I? You did. All right, let's just. I, I think just run straight past him. Step in one. Try and, try and dodge yeah. past for two. Yeah. Which I do. Yeah. How many items do you have, Matt? Two. Um, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight at the moment. Yeah, right. So it might almost be worth shotgunning him because I think I've got shotgun shells, right? Yeah, okay. All right, let's do that. Shotgun. Uh, for two dice. Blast him through the door or blast him straight to hell. 
Very, very dead. Uh, so that's three. Um, I might as well move back to here, actually, so I'm ready to go. Yeah, okay. And I'll trade with you. Cool. Uh, Echoes in the dark. Oh, my God. <laughs> that's all right. I, I won't. Looks like you're going to get in those, ty- those uh, items, and I won't be. Okay, so let's do a bit of inventory management then. Yep. So I'm going to trade with uh, Henry. Right. You can two, have three, grenade four. rounds and bowgun bolts. Yep. I'll take the shotgun shells off of you. Should I take the blue key card as well? Uh, no, I'm going to need that to open the door in a minute. Th- oh, no. Um, actually, yeah, do that because you're going to go and uh, open the door because I don't want us to end up in. Oh, no, wait. Huh. Interesting. If I stay in this room, I'm drawing three cards from the tension deck. If I go into the Rising Fear corridor, I'm drawing two cards from the deck. So, strangely, it makes more sense for me to do that way. So, you keep the blue key card. Okay. Yeah, I'll keep the blue key card. I'll discard. That'll be gone in a minute. Um, yeah, I'll take the I'll take those two things from you. How many card items have I got in my deck now? Uh, you've got seven. In my head? Seven. Okay, cool. Yeah, so I've got that. So, then I'll go uh, two into your square, three into the square beyond, and then four to open the door. Okay. And we're about to uh, creaks open, and this is our first red room. Good times. Good times. Yeah. Don't roll anything uh, bad. No. Well, I got to draw. Um, we haven't been there just yet. But um, yeah, time for two tension deck cards. <laughs> Vigor Mortis. So good. So and, so so. And good. all clear. At least the echoes in the darkness the token goes away. Good times. Right. So uh, we're gonna put a zombie in my square, and I'll make an evade. Yes, I will make an evade, but thanks, Mr. Zombie. Cool. <laughs> this is all going horribly wrong, Matt. <laughs> it should be easier. Um, right. What else was in deck A? I mean, I feel like... Handgun bullets. A whole bunch of handgun yeah, bullets I need, and some I green need herb. handgun bullets. Also green herb. Yeah, okay. Um... If I shoot that zombie and, and I don't kill him, he's going to attack you, not step towards me, isn't he? He is. How many items? You said you've got seven items? No, you must have less than that. You had, yeah, you had eight items. You traded two with me, so you must have seven items in your deck? Yeah. yeah you have. So, I mean, you've got, you could shoot with a shotgun because uh, you can then reload and it's going to give you some more stuff, right? Yeah, let's do that. Shoot with a shotgun. Because we do, we need to keep going through this corridor, whether we like it or not. Oh, so. my goodness. No, shooting text. Gracious. Uh, so he's going to attack you, or is he going to step? No, into no, he should, he just sits. Uh, he's happy where he is. It's only a move reaction he does. So, okay. um, I might as well shoot again then. Shotgun. Yep, that's on me this time. And um, then I'm going to reload. Cool. So free up a slot. Um, so put you back up to five. Five. Uh, so that was uh, three, Two. and then I'm just going to walk over there. Oh, did you open the... Was that door not already open? I shot There's one. Two... So oh, shot no, you twice. reloaded, didn't you? Reloaded, yeah, sorry, it's the reload. And then, yeah. yeah, and then I've moved, and it's all clear. Right, over to cool. you, into the red room. I'm feeling bold. Let's do this. Step in. Okay. Go on, just for the audience. You all might right. as well roll this one, because it's... Because uh... I'm really good at rolling umbrellas. Yeah, basically. Uh, a six... Okay, uh, Deepening Unease. The active character draws two extra cards during the tension phase. Actually, that's nowhere near as bad as it could have been. Yeah, that's fine. Um, in which case, let me... Uh, I don't want to dawdle too much in this. I'm going to go two... I'm just going to make a beeline down the bottom of that corner, I think. So yeah, three, one to there, and then one to there. Four. And then end up in the same square. Roll the dice. There's the zombie. One second. Yes, that stands up. Of course Not he does. Best. Of course he does. Bless him. Oh, it's Zombie Marv. Oh. Okay. Uh, so that's that's uh, one, two, three, four. Okay. And we'll, oh, no, so he's going to bite me. Or he's going to try and bite me. Yeah. He has actually bitten me. Splendid. Uh, so push him away. Uh, not into the corner, into the square I just came from. Yeah. And, and then, then we're going to see what happens. Uh, we've got a tough hide. Okay. Not the worst thing. No. Okay. Over to you. All right, um, so I'm going to uh, one, two, pick it up for three, and then step across for four. And handgun bullets. Beautiful. Splendid. Not even going to step across, just going to slam straight in my gun. Eight bullets back. 
Okay. Uh, reaction phase, that zombie is very helpfully going to uh, step into the same square as me for a hug. Lovely. Here we go. Lovely. Comes. Thanks. Thanks, Marv. And then tension deck time. Oh, hang on a minute. I had to draw in my turn. Sorry, my turn. I had to draw uh, two extra cards, so I should draw another two. So tough hide and the other two, which all are the top. Clear and all clear. And yep, then so my one is no escape. That's going to be uh, speedos, isn't it? Uh, all the liquor, whichever way you want it to do. Uh, I'm going to make it the liquor actually, because we've got to go that way, haven't we? Yeah, we do. Okay. Um, awesome. Right, uh, I'm going to make a dodge away from that zombie, uh, which I make. So I'm going to be in that square. Uh, I'm going to one second. Uh, I can spend action to discard the blue key card and get the lockpick. So let's bin off that, and then I need a lockpick card. All right. Uh, I did find. I don't that know. We got that ready, actually. So sorry. I don't know if I got that ready, but it doesn't matter. Uh, yeah, we we know we've got the lockpick there. Effect. So you could leave the blue key card in there, if you, a red key card in there. If you yeah, want. that's fine. Cool. Right. Uh, the liquor will move though, because I made a move. Yep. Uh, so that's one. I'm going to go back into the square of the zombie and dodge past it again, yep. which I do. Liquor moves. Yep. Yep. Uh, sorry, so I go, I've go. i gone past it now, so yeah. So I'm right. actually one first. So that's one, two, three, and then one more uh, towards the corpse. There we are. Okay. Look, is going to move. Yep. And then uh, that zombie's going to react. So one, two, three. Did the liquor do its reaction phase yet, or is it? Uh, no, re reaction phase now is it's in the doorway. Cool. Have you heard me scuttling around? And then perfect. card from tension deck. And it's all not clear. Bad. Good times. Hmm. We are burning this deck, Matt. We are. Okay, uh, your turn. On the plus side, uh, yeah, on the plus side, the liquor's going to jump on me because I'm close. Oh no, wait a minute. One second, let's quickly have a look on the exact rules on the card. Uh, the liquor moves a move reaction, yeah, so it's going to come towards me because uh, I'm closer, I think. I'm two uh, squares away, and you are three. I thought the liquor's done his reaction. I don't know, when you start moving, because all two, these doors three, are open. Four. Oh, right, okay. Um, so if I move to there, it's going to what come through the door towards you? Yes. That's fine. Do I have line of sight to it from there? Uh, no, because there's a wall in the way. So you might as well get the other item, I think, at this point, because I'm uh, going to have to deal with the liquor. Two for there, pick the item up. Yep, the liquor's going to jump on me. Three is a green herb. Liquor's... I may need that. Isn't the liquor just going to attack you from there? No, it's always a move reaction. So it's just going to jump onto the same square as me. Okay. This isn't the worst thing in the world if you can dodge past it. Uh, yeah, uh, that's a good point. I'm not planning on hanging around. Right. So. Uh, and then I'm going to move to here. Four. Yeah. So this okay, reaction is... phase. So I'll try and deal with the liquor first. Yeah. Which I have done. And Astonishingly then, enough, but zombie. yeah, zombie's going to move in, and that's going to make life a whole bunch more difficult next time. Yeah, uh, I don't know. Grenade launcher, maybe. Uh, Bowgun, I think, is the answer. Bowgun. Uh, and then what have we got in our items? Uh, I got a green hope. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. The um, tension deck even for your character is all clear. Splendid. Right. This is a bit class now. Claire, Bowgun. Shoot that liquor. Oh my, that was quite something. Uh, it, so we it, drop the in a drop way. the dial down for the bowgun by one. Uh, the liquor's now spoiling another wound token, oh, which really? is nice, and gets pushed uh, back. I've got two put. It got pushed back by that hit, and I've got another two pushes to go as well. So I could push the zombie back, or which I'm tempted to do, and then push the liquor back with the other one again. So the liquor's around the corner. So let's do that. Wait. That's kind of clear my square up quite nicely. Nice one, Bogan. Good job, Bogan. Get the item. Yeah, right. Get the so item. one. Don't get the I'm item. Get the item. Yeah, step into that. So two. Yeah. Zombie doesn't stand up. Three to pick it up. Lovely. Oh, the liquid would move, by the way, into the same square as a zombie with my move. Uh, what did I get, sir? Hang on, bullets. Just what uh, Splendid. we needed. Just what I needed. And then I'm going to go... Uh, I can't skip a turn when I'm in the square as a corpse, so I'm going to move towards the door. So that's going to just be one there. The liquor's going to move. Yeah. Uh, and then, right, reaction phase. Liquor's going to try and hit me. Liquor is not going to hit me. 
Uh, but the zombies can move into the same square as the liquor. Cool. Cool. And then tension card. Oh, green. And okay. then we've got to do the run through the rising fear corridor, basically. Uh, yeah, so we're going to head this way, right? Yeah. We don't want to go through that, even though there's a typewriter there. Uh, we could go through that. Or we could just split and someone pegs it down at here yeah. and does that typewriter. Well, it depends if we want to deal with the mess down the bottom that I left us with all the liquors and stuff. Otherwise, I'd agree with you, that is a much, much cleaner path to victory. What, um, going this way? Yeah. Well, that, that way's got left far less enemies, but it's going to take us... It's probably similar in terms of time, actually, in, ter in terms of the actual cards. It means we spend less time in the Rising Fear Corridor. And it's also got... Both ways have got a typewriter on the way. And that was a bit of a detour, but it's not the end of the world. Yeah. What do you think? Either way, when you move, I'm gonna have a liquor jump on me. That's not that's le not the best thing. Yeah. Um. I can't help feeling that this way is actually the better way. Uh, assuming we can kind of just bow gun or grenade launcher all of those. There are only three. Well, there's three zombies and a liquor. Yeah, that's a lot in that slow in that close compartment to try and deal with. But I'm happy to follow your lead on that one. I don't know. What does chat think? Yeah, that's a good idea. We've also got, it's worth pointing out, we've also thank, we've still got a dog to deal with in the other stair corridor. Um, and... Uh, oh, yeah. We've got a dog. My, my we've got gut a feel is, well, let's go the dangerous way, I think. Okay. This seems grim. All right, so I'm going to move. One. Licker yep, moves into my square. For two. Yep. Uh, I'm going to Leon S. Kennedy it with, uh, with my custom handgun. Okay. Just to get rid of it and make your life easier. Which, uh, well, I, I at least push it off. The, the zombie moves into my square. It's kind of annoying. So liquor goes off, zombie moves on. I've made things worse. Uh, not necessarily. If you shut the door, then that's not the worst. If you step into that corridor and shut the door, then in my turn, I don't have to deal with the liquor too much. Two. That's not the end of the world. Okay. Oh, no, because the liquor's going to move in because you moved. Yeah, you have made things worse. Well done. Hooray for me. Uh, well um... done. Solid place. I'm not sure it's worth you actually doing that. I think, can you get into another room? So uh, I'm here for two, three, four. No, I can't get into it here. I might as well. You could get you could get and jump in the armory, so that way you don't have to worry about setting off the tension deck. Not too worried about that. We're gonna reset it quite. Yeah. Okay. I think I need to help you get get free of there. Let me um let me shoot at the liquor again. Yeah. Okay. Handgun bullets. Two of them. Yeah, I've got some handgun bullets I can trade to yeah. you, so you've got a bit more hand cannon action going on. Uh, let's go three because I want to make sure. Yeah, because when you can combine it, it makes more sense to put three yeah. into the thing. Oh, for goodness sake. Well, I pushed it away. At least it's not the end of the world. So how many actions was that, Matt? That was my third. Uh, I think shut the door for four. No, because it's still going to jump on you, isn't it? Oh, no. No, not if, if you shut the door, it'll be fine. And then in my right. turn, I need to evade the zombie and then I can jump through and be done. Okay. Uh, rising fear is fine. Cool. Right, my turn. Yeah. Uh, I'm trying to open the door for one. Yeah. Done. Cool. I'm gonna step through for two. Not done. Oh. Uh, so I'm gonna push off that zombie. Okay. All right. Uh, and then I'll step through for three. Yeah. Liquor moves up. Uh, liquor moves up, and then I'm gonna shut the door for four. All right. Uh, remember to drop my health down though. We're back in the game. Cool. Good times. Right, uh, two cards from Tension Deck. All clear and all clear. That's fine. Uh, I suggest we don't mess about here, but there's a few things I wouldn't mind swapping around and about. But um, let's do it in the next corridor. So one, I'm going to do a um, flying um, crane kick on that one. Okay, um, I like the style. I'm sure the karate kid would also do so. Three, uh, yep. and then I'm just going to step in um, and just chew bubblegum furiously at this zombie before. Okay. Uh, okay. So the zombies could try and bite you. Yeah. And <laughs> there they are. Of course, that's where they would be. Um, and then I can the... push you back towards me, probably. 
and then the tension was fine. So, cool. Right, Claire time. Uh, Claire's going to run straight into the square with a zombie. One, two. Uh, put two bullets into it. No, yeah. I'm starting to feel a bit beaten up now. I'm going to put three bullets into this thing. Pow, pow. Uh, that is no longer a zombie standing in the same square as me. Sweet. Uh, right, and then you said you wanted a trade action. Yeah, let's do that. So um, I can uh, green herb you. Oh, actually, I'm on caution, and you're on... Yeah, I, I can I can heal you, though, so don't worry too much about that. So, yeah, give me the green herb, and I'll All give right. you the bullets. Cool. That makes sense. Excellent. Cool. Uh, so that was my... Th uh, where do I One, two, three, four, that's yeah. And then one of these. All clear. Lovely. Cool. Right, my go. One, yep. two, pick up the item for three, step towards yep. the door for four. Cool. The item is... More handgun bullets. Beautiful. Right. Okay. Your, your goes. Uh, uh, no, my tension yeah. deck is fine. You're going to be one, two, three. Yeah, move me three, and then I'll heal you for two levels with my uh, with Made in Heaven. Sweet. I'll heal you up to four, basically. Okay. Uh, I'll just double check. Is that three levels or two levels? One second. Uh, two levels. Yeah, two levels. That's perfect. No escape. Really? Right, okay. Uh, so. We can go uh, one, two, and all the liquor and his buddies come through. Or we go uh, one, two, and the liquor and all of these buddies from the floor below come through. Let's do that. Yeah, we have to deal with that anyway, right? Yeah. Right. right. Well, right. that stuff always going to appear then, in which case, on the stairwell tile, except for whatever can't quite fit on the stairwell tile, in which case goes in the adjacent one. Um... Oh, right. Okay. So the liquor's going to come through as well. Well, we can uh, we can put the liquor like. Yep, and then we have two police zombies in the same square as him. Then, and then the other police zombie will go. Yep, there. Okay. Well, it's good they found the way up. All right. <laughs> That's fine. I think. It should be an easier path. Yeah. We'll go with that. All right, you go then. Uh, no, that was my turn. <sighs> that was Zoom my in turn. On the action. Over to you. All right. One, liquor's going to step forward. Two, liquor's going to step forward. Three, liquor's going to come round the corner. And liquor is going to get... Something. Sh shotgun. Or do oh. I magnum? Mm. It might be time for the double caramel coming out. Double caramel. <laughs> I, I, I think we really want to save that Magnum for the boss, Matt. Oh, that is... man. But do you know how many how many wounds the boss has got? I've literally had this thing for ages. Yeah, but you're saving it for a rainy day. That rainy day is called Gene Ewan. All right, come on in. Shotgun straight to the face. No, I'm going to um, custom handgun. Hang, yeah, custom handgun it. You've got loads of bullets now. Three bullets, yo. Straight in. And... I was watching a pro roll here, Matt. Uh, it's a wound. Because of the custom handgun. Yes, that's good. Uh, I don't get the pushes though, do I? You don't. Uh, the, the zombies will all react because uh, they heard your shoe in it. All right, all right, all right. Okay. And that was your full faction, right? Um, one, two, three, shoot for four. Yes. Right. Cool. Right. So the liquor's gonna try and hit you. Yeah. Uh, you got to get medium evade. I did. Cool. And then the. Uh, yeah, he's going to go into there. That's yeah, fine. Two games, I'm, so. All I'm doing is lining them up for a, um, a bow gun, a glorious Pop bow gun. Action. All right, cool. And my turn then. Oh, sorry. Yeah. All clear. Right, I'll drop down then, uh, and then drop my bow gun down by one, please, sir. Yes. Oh, the lick is going to move into your square. Okay. Soz. That's fine. Who are you shooting at then with your bow gun? Um, look at the licker. All right. Licker is a threat here. Three on the bow gun bullet. Uh, the licker used to be a threat. It's dead now. Yeah. Good job. I knew that was uh, coming. The zombie's going to come into your square. Yeah. And the other two are going to drop down. Uh, right, so what's the um, what's my bow gun ammo look like? Uh, three. All right, okay, one second. So I'll see how much the bow gun reloads. I think the bow gun re uh, bow bolts reloads everything, right? Six. Yeah, no worries. I'm going to shoot out the two zombies in the same square, and then in which case... The two cops, yeah. Yeah. Uh, one of them is not there anymore. The other one's going to step into your square. Fine. And then I'm going to shoot my last action. So one, two, three. Yeah, last one. To shoot the bow gun once more. Cool. Kill uh, all. I kill. I killed one, and I pushed the other one. 
and I'm going to push the other one towards me. Okay. Tension. Oh, uh, reaction then. Yeah, he's going to move into my square. Yeah, and then. Oh my goodness! Persisting allies. Right. We never come back. Okay, fine. So, so we'll, we'll just drop that. Here. On these, That's fine. Yeah, that goes there. All right, go. Me a go. One. Yep. Two, three, four. Reactions. That guy's going to try and chomp you. Yep. One second. And then it's going to clear. That guy is going to chomp me. I'm going to take one damage, but I'm going to push him into the room that we were just in. Lovely. All right, over to you. Cool. Uh, let's. I'm. I'm going to shut the door. I'm just going to run past. So um, I'll just keep going. Three, four. Once. He's yep. going to shuffle out. You're going to draw a all clear card. I'm going to spend... Oh, look, this this is like we planned it. Uh, one, to climb the stairs. Two, three, four. In true, uh, in true spectacular style from the, an old game, like the camera hasn't quite caught with you moving yet, but that's oh, fine. Oh, okay. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Okay. Uh, over to you. So I'm right, assuming. Uh, well, um, one, two, yep. three, four. Yeah. All clear. Look! Look at the corpse that's been sort of watching us the entirety through this. Right. So I'm feeling. Uh, I want to just get that light not bouncing as hard as it is. Okay. There you go. Sorry, right, we're going to zoom in on the boss tile at some point. Yeah, pretty sure. Yeah. I'm soon coming up. Okay. Um, I might as well just pop the ink ribbon, right? How's our how's our tension net looking? Well, pretty, really, we haven't seen a whole bunch of bad red cards yet, so that isn't a terrible idea. Pretty good. Yeah. There's there's a good fifteen. Do you need to, cards Yeah, there. it's probably worth doing at this point because we yeah we haven't seen a lot of the red cards, so that means things that we're not gonna. All right. So yeah, what I'm gonna do is going to I'm gonna do a couple of reloads. And, yeah, that makes sense. Um, and. And then I'm going to do the tension deck. Why don't you go and get that door opened? Yeah. That's that the plan. Goes. Yeah. All right, let's do that. Okay, so it's your... Uh, no, you've come right, through. So, yeah, so what's, what's happening in yours? So it's your turn, right? So uh, I'm going to reload twice with my handguns. Okay. So that's... Um... Oh, no, I'm going to reload once. Otherwise, I'm going to cool. waste bullets. Uh, no, actually, it's only wasting one bullet. I'm going to reload twice. I'm going to use the yep. ink ribbon. Um, and I'm then going to um, step back out, and that basically goes, doesn't it? Yep. Good times. And then we reset the uh, yep. reset the deck. All right. So how am I looking? I'm on caution. I've got green herb though, am I? Which is at least good. I think that last remaining bee item is a red herb, which would be really good for my health. But I don't know. I want to feel bold enough to. Uh, Go in there and deal with whatever's specific in there. Maybe I'll walk in, open the door, see what's waiting for me on the other side, and then check my command mind up on that. So, uh, once you've drawn your card, I'll work out what I'm doing. Uh, survey says, all clear. Cool. So I'm going to go one, two, open the door for three. Actually, before I do that, one, two in front of that door. Do I have any handgun ammo to reload with or anything, or is it all gone? Um, you've got bulk, bow gun bolts, grenade rounds. All right, cool. Okay, open the door then, in which case. So, one, two, open the door. It's a yellow shirt. Yeah, buddy. Right, Three. and then how many bullets have I got? Uh, you've got 13 handguns. Uh, then there's three bullets less because they're going to go into. I'm pretty sure I fired at least three of those. I should be on 10, I think. But okay. put me on seven now, anyway, because I'm going to shoot again. Okay. Uh, yellow shirt is going away. Unfortunately oh. enough, he's dead. Okay. But the other guy's going to lurch closer, and okay. then twice two squares effectively because he's um, one to there and then one through the door because he's reaction phase now. Yeah. All clear. Uh, an intention card. Okay, cool. So uh, step one, two, three, trying to dodge past him. Four. Which I do. I guess reaction phase is going to follow me though, isn't he? Uh, he is. Uh, oh my goodness gracious! No escape. Uh, right, it's this dude here. Uh, isn't um, it? It's the there's the green shirt guy down here. He's going to appear on the stairs. Uh, yeah, he's going to. Was he in the same room as us? Uh, he was literally at the other end of the stairs. Okay, bless him. Let him go. Okay. Hmm. Uh, over to you. 
Okay, I'm going to go one, two, uh, into the same room, three into the same square as that zombie. Three, yeah. And then I'm going to shoot it. Uh, let's use two bullets. Hang on. Yep. Uh, double push, which is good for me. So I'm going to push him two squares into the room where yep. he just left. Uh, the other zombie on the stairs now is going to stagger closer because it heard the gunshots. Yeah. Uh, and then, then there's a reaction phase, so it will move once more, and then so will the other guy as well. Yeah, yeah. And then you're all clear. And do we care about shutting that door? I don't suppose it would hurt, would it? It's probably for the best. It just takes life a bit easier. Two, three. Surprises. Have you got the key to get into this room? Uh, the lockpick. Yeah, I've got that now. Into it's already into the um into the boss room. Yes, that room's unlocked. Um, so that one we can just go into. But it's an amber room, and I didn't. I was in a rush at the time. How important? We've both got first aid spray, so I feel like we don't need to worry about it too much. Uh, boss fight says no, but I do see your point. I mean, you can open the door and then not go in. Just run past it, and I'll basically step in my turn sure. in this room. Then I'll um, so I'll, I'll, I'll step back out again. Shut the door. So shut the door for one, two, three. Open the door for four. Yeah. All clear. Over to you. Okay. So one, two, into that room, and three. then roll. Let's see what there is. Uh, there is a zombie and a lurch forward. So it is so uh, that zombie. So that you actually go into a um. Into a spawn marker. So does that mean it uh, spawns? No, it appears on the closest, the next closest one. So right, like it would be like that. around the corner, Fine. and then it moves one square towards me. Yep, done that. So you got one action left, haven't you? Um, yeah, one, two, three. What do we think? Do we think it's worth going in there? There's a red herb in there. I do need help. But you are right. We both got first aid sprays. Oh, step in. I'll, I'll deal. Uh, hmm. uh. Oh, the, the the queries. What do you think, Matt? Do you think it's worth wasting a couple of turns trying to get that red herb so we can heal up? Probably, right? I think we've got loads of time yeah. and attention deck, so yeah. Yeah, okay, I'll step around the corner and then the zombie will jump on me. Like that, like that. Yeah, yeah. And then, and then the zombie will get me. It's all uh, and then touch your card. All right. Um, what am I going to do then? I might as well try and help you. Uh, yeah, you can't get into the other room, so that's probably not the worst so idea. I'll step anyway. in. I'll pop a couple of handguns into him. Yep. Uh, 13. Uh, so that's a push. I might as well push him onto me. I might as well push him back, and then you could, and then I'll just run past him. I said you could try to get the key to open the boss door and then just go on without me. Sure, okay. Let's I'll catch up shortly. I'll grab the. Um, well, lock, lock, pick. lock pick off you for two, yep. three, four. He's going to react. Uh, so you stepped in, didn't you? So one, two, three. You're, you're outside the door, aren't you? Yeah. Because you traded for one. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's all clear. Suspended. Okay. Uh, in my turn, I'm going to simply dash past. Do it. I'm going to dash past. Nice. So that's one, two into the same square as the, as the item. Yeah. Three to pick that up. Red herb. Yep. Yeah. Uh, and then I guess I'm going to move into the same square as the zombie. Yeah, sure. Uh, oh, sorry, as in, not as in the square behind. square I came from. Square behind him. He's going to react. Uh, sacred distance. Move into my square. So he can come to you. Yeah. You get an all clear. And then over to you. I think you're just making a beeline to the doors now, aren't you? Yeah. He's going to react, yeah. so you've got to try and dodge. Yeah. Uh, which I have done. Okay. And my is all clear. Over to you. Okay, let's make it a fruit, uh, which I failed spectacularly, so I'm going to push him away though. All right. So that's one, uh, two, three, and then through the door, four. Okay, he's going to step up. Tension says all clear. Uh, one, two, three, four. He's going to react. Tension card's all clear. Over to you. Right, uh, I'm going to go one, two, three, four, just to literally get, just move far away from the zombie as possible. Um, it's all clear, right. All right, let's take a bit of stop before we start doing anything crazy here. Yeah. So, do we need to reload? Do we need to do anything? Um, I, I need no, to heal, I know that much, but I'm, that's it. I'm in the best shape I can possibly be. Cool. So, let me talk to you a little bit about the boss before we go in. 
Um, and also for anyone who hasn't actually encountered the boss before. So uh, when you're in the same square as the boss, you can't leave. So once you've gone in this square, you can't go out. You can't attack him from outside the square. So no sort of uh, chi kind of open door and shoot him through. Uh, the boss has 25 wounds. Right. Which could take some chewing through. Um, and while you're on this tile, uh, you do not draw from the tension deck because the order is, is, you know, the the music has kind of reached its crescendo, and now you're kind of really oh, right. just drawing so we'll, from we'll the boss there. deck instead. Okay. So, we'll, oh, my camera's just disappeared off the screen. Hold on a second. Might need to. Uh... Just try and get the old camera back. I think people can still no hear us, but um. Still find out. out. I, I can still. I've got, got a blank screen, screen, but I can still hear you. So. Yeah, no, it's just helps. gone a bit. Um... That's uh, OBS. Oh, right at the moment to do it as well. Ah. Oh. We're doing so well. This might be the world's biggest cliffhanger, where we cliffhanger yeah. right at this moment, because I don't <laughs> quite know why my camera is about working. to step through the door. Well, why don't we call that the cliffhanger? We've been going for an hour and a half, so let's cliffhanger right there. Uh, can do, um, if, if we've got technical issues. I don't know if there's a small intermission while we try to work out what this is as a tea break or something. Yeah. Um, well, we, no, we can we can pop back tomorrow. Um, same time, okay. same back, back channel. Um and do the do the boss fight, and I can kind of zoom the camera right in, then, can't I? Oh uh, yeah, that's a good idea. And then maybe yeah. if, uh, if I, don't, I honestly don't know why that's done. It's literally just gone black rather than freezing, yeah. which is a bit weird. So yeah, um, rather than try and fix it on live on stream, let's uh, let's call that a fortuitous uh, and serendipitous cliffhanger, and um, we'll we'll resume um, similar time tomorrow. Um, Assuming and, the camera uh, isn't busted completely. Well, yeah, there is that. So uh, watch this space. As soon as we can get on to dealing with the G mutant, we will do. Uh, we will be back um, with this with a thrilling conclusion to this week's episode. Uh, yeah, uh, I'll have a quick check to um, to what we've got in terms of the comments and the chats. But uh... <laughs> G mutant smashed the camera. Yeah, he did. Yeah, G mutant <laughs> smashed the camera. <laughs> Mr. X came for the camera. Uh, um, let's have a quick look. Uh, I mean, there's an awful lot of questions I mean, that have been going on. It looks yeah. like Sharky's been filming all of them, to be honest. Yeah, Sharky's doing well. But Sharky is also quite rightly complaining that now the tiles do look quite dark. <laughs> <laughs> well done. Yeah. Right, we better well say done. goodbye, otherwise we are literally streaming um, a black screen. So uh, Yeah, okay, no worries. Uh, Thank you very much, guys, uh, for watching. As I said, we'll be back tomorrow. I'm very sorry about our accidental, intent well, our accidental brilliant cliffhanger. Yeah, yeah, quite fortuitous. Right, um, see you guys soon. Take it easy, stay safe, and we'll catch you on the next one.